Welcome back everyone. Over the past 15 videos, we have learned about Redux, its core concepts and how it translates to the code we write. Although you may now be comfortable with it, let me tell you, it is not how you will write Redux code in the year 2022 and beyond. There are two main reasons for that and having learned Redux till now, I hope you are much better placed to understand the concerns that developers had when using the library. The first concern is that Redux requires too much boilerplate code. And you might have already seen this. For every state transition, we define an action type constant, an action object, an action creator, and use that in a switch statement in a red user. A large scale application will have a lot of state transitions and repeating this pattern and boilerplate code will slowly start to annoy you. The second concern is that a lot of other packages have to be installed to work with Redux. Granted, simple state transitions don't need additional tools, but for async actions, you need the Redux Thunk library. For handling nested state updates, you need the Immer library. And we haven't discussed about it yet, but there is also a Redux DevTools library that will help debug Redux applications. So there was a need to improve the developer experience for Redux. And that is what resulted in the creation of the Redux Toolkit library. As I had already mentioned in the very first video, Redux Toolkit is the official, opinionated, batteries included toolset for efficient Redux development. What the library does is abstract over the setup process and handle the most common use cases, as well as include some useful utilities that will let the developer focus more on their application code. Now what we have learned so far is the essence of Redux. What we are about to learn is how you should be using Redux. And since you are already comfortable with the core concepts like store, state, actions and reducers, learning Redux Toolkit will be all the more easier. Over the next few videos, we are going to develop the same cake and ice cream shop application we have previously developed but this time with the Redux Toolkit library. In doing so, we will also be able to clearly understand the value Redux Toolkit brings to the table. With this in mind, let's get started in the next video.